Hi there. What is your neighborhood really like? In 1988, Michael Weiss, in his fascinating book, The Clustering of America, introduced the idea that neighborhoods can be grouped in terms of lifestyles, consumer spending, demographics, and socioeconomic variables. Part of a larger field of study known as cluster analysis, the descriptive names given to neighborhoods included furs and station wagons, towns and gowns, which were college towns, and laptops and lattes. From this sprang geodemographics, the analysis of people based on where and how they live. Some have argued that geodemographics had its roots in Charles Booth's survey into life and labor in London during the 1890s. However, it wasn't until the 1990s when geodemographics became a very important component to businesses seeking to make wise decisions about where to locate. Now, I first wrote about the lifestyle cluster data available from ESRI back in 2009. And since that time, the ways that data can be accessed and, and, and utilized has become easier than ever. In addition, the data itself has become more accurate and more detailed. Tapestry segmentation provides an accurate, detailed description of America's neighborhoods. U.S. residential areas are divided into 67 distinctive segments based on their socioeconomic and demographic composition, and then further classified into 14 life mode and urbanization groups. If you are new to analyzing this type of data, I recommend starting with the introduction, reviewing the cluster segments, and examining the poster. You can even order your own paper copy of the poster here. Now you're ready for examining the data in live web maps. Start by looking up the tapestry segments for your own zip code. Next, open the story map for a tour of the USA's 14 life mode groups. You can also examine the data in an ArcGIS online map, where at small scales, a single dot is shown for each zip code based on the predominant tapestry code. As you zoom in to larger scales, the map transitions to show dot density patterns for each tapestry segment found in the zip code. That's not all. You can examine the tapestry data as a map layer so that if you wanted to combine it with other data in ArcGIS Online, such as median household income, median age, the diversity index, or the growth rate, you could do so. You can also examine the data inside two powerful applications, Community Analyst and Business Analyst, and its web counterpart, Business Analyst Online. Now, one example um, of doing this is the following. An advantage of using the tapestry data inside these applications is that you have the ability to easily create a wealth of maps and reports as well as attribute and location data on millions of business locations. Now, time does not permit me to expand fully on the rich discussions that you can have with students you, just by using the tapestry data, but they include discussing the differences between aggregated data and individual data and whether you feel that the tapestry segments for your neighborhood, region, or state accurately describe it, and why or why not. Discussions could also include how your neighborhood compares with those adjacent to it, or to those across town, or to the neighborhood in which you grew up. How do you believe your neighborhood is changing and why? What influence do specific industries, or natural resources, or universities, or retirement communities have on your neighborhood? Looking for this type of data outside the USA? Well, some does exist. Contact your local distributor for more information. For example, I was just over in Japan, and the ESRI Japan office actually has a wealth of data that you can obtain using Business Analyst Online, or even just as a DVD that you can use inside ArcGIS Online. So please share in the comments section of this video how you are using this data in your instruction. Thanks.